Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 video games almost no one ever finishes. Frustrated? No, I have my orders. Signed and approved all the way up the chain from Kimball. For this list, we'll be looking at video games that just don't end up fully completed, be that because they're too big, too difficult, or just a slog to play through. What games were put down and never picked back up? Any we missed? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Nuff guardians came plundering, looking for valuables, as if we was rich. Who killed them? Couldn't have been you. A great game with an expansive world hooks you in and keeps you playing with engaging gameplay, story, and visuals. Unfortunately for Geralt, there's just too much of it. CD Projekt Red's third installment in the Witcher franchise won countless awards, but in making one of the best open world games of the decade, they put so much stuff into it. The company itself has said there are potentially 200 hours of gameplay in The Witcher 3. And of course, the world is just too interesting to let things pass you by. As a result, players eventually put down the controller in favor of another game that might not take a few months to complete. You wanted to bury the corpses, but their stench lured ghouls to the village. Now I'm here. Sound about right? Tis as you say. Number 9. XCOM 2 Contact pacified. It's an alien occupation, and you are not prepared. This turn-based strategy sets you as the commander of an anti-alien military force, where you must think tactically to get through each encounter. Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within excelled at this. The only problem was how reliably unforgiving they were. Watch the signs! XCOM 2 builds on the best parts of the formula, and that includes its difficulty. Some reviewers even claimed that the easiest mode played like any other game would call hardcore. So if you happen to have the end achievement on your profile, you can wear it like a badge of honor. Number 8. Bro Force. If you ever wanted to shoot your way through enemy camps as your favorite action heroes, this is the game for you. You're placed in the shoes of a hyper-masculine bro who fights terrorists and saves the day. But doing that is not an easy feat. Its retro shoot-em-up gameplay is filled with unrelenting danger. You're spending half your time avoiding damage as you are dealing it out, with later levels becoming ridiculous. The constant motion and relentless action can become overwhelming, which is why you won't find many who've even touched the Iron Bro campaign. Number 7. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Before saving the land, why not explore some ruins, join the companions, start a family, or maybe just enjoy some mead at the local tavern? That harbinger of the apocalypse can wait, right? Bethesda prides itself on making its games vast and dense with content, just like what it does with the Fallout franchise. Frustrated? No, I have my orders. Signed and approved all the way up the chain from Kimball. It would take an estimated 223 hours to play through everything that Skyrim has to offer. This action RPG is also incredibly adaptable, with an active modding community creating more and more quests for players to play through and avoid the end of the main storyline. You may be the Dragonborn, but who wouldn't want to roleplay in a sandbox with so much to offer? 
wish to know more about the Eye of Magnus. You wish to avoid the disaster of which you are not yet aware. Number 6. Cuphead While its animation style may be fun and nostalgic, it's definitely not for the lighthearted. This run-and-gun retro adventure has you traveling Inkwell Isle as the titular anthropomorphic cup trying to repay your debt to the devil, accompanied by some devilishly delightful visuals. Gameplay relies heavily on pattern recognition and muscle memory, so it takes some experience to take on the game's challenges. While it was praised for its ruthless stages and enemies, it can become exhausting after a while. It takes the truly determined to see Cuphead to the very end. Were you one of them? <laughs> Number 5. Metal Gear Solid 5 – The Phantom Pain Target confirmed dead. Now move on to the other two. This game doesn't just share its universe with previous entries, it also tops the incredible amount of content for you to find. Metal Gear Solid V is a fantastic experience, with polished gameplay and a heart-wrenching story to keep you hooked. The only problem is that it's a massive commitment to get through. While the main story may take around 46 hours to complete, you can nearly quadruple that playtime if you're a completionist. With the side quests, collectibles, companions, base management, and easter eggs galore, it's a fair feat if you want to donate that much time as Big Boss. We're ready to strike back. Say the word. Number 4. Battletoads As difficult as it is to acquire the original game, you'll have an even harder time completing it. Battletoads was made to rival the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games and received a cult following for being near unbeatable. The enemies are tough to handle, but when your challenge is to navigate the levels, it becomes near impossible. Development in this generation didn't have a lot of playtesting and no way to update post-release. As a result, this beat-em-up will remain one of the most strenuous experiences to ever grace a console. Number 3. Super Meat Boy it's hard to find a game as forgiving, but also as exacerbating as this 2010 masterpiece. You play as Meat Boy, traversing various trap-filled stages in an attempt to save your girlfriend. While Super Meat Boy gives you unlimited tries, marking your previous attempts by the red juice you leave behind, it gets incredibly frustrating to play. One incorrect movement could cost your entire run of the stage, which might lead some to give in to the urge to rage quit and go video game vegan for a while. Number 2. Minecraft It's surprising how many people don't know that Minecraft has an ending, but that doesn't mean getting it is easy. You have to get a variety of hard-to-acquire items and then be prepared for one of the hardest fights in the game. At the same time, Minecraft can be used for a lot of things. <laughs> Teaching kids, building replicas of fictional civilizations, even playing your favorite tunes on a music box. With an almost infinite supply of things to create, going off to fight the Ender Dragon might not even be an option for some. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Darkest Dungeon
This is one of those games which it feels like the developers don't want you to finish it. Darkest Dungeon has you managing a roster of ever-expandable warriors as you explore the many dungeons below a cursed estate. The only problem is that this RPG doesn't give you an inch. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Not only do you have to track each character's stress levels, but once they die, they're dead, and there's no getting them back. Half the time, you feel like you've scraped by on luck alone. It makes you question whether it's worth completing, which is clear with how few players have earned that last achievement. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.